Well, Ukraine's president-elect, billionaire Petro Poroshenko, has promised to use full force until all separatists have been destroyed. He's now vowed to strengthen the military crackdown, making it faster and more efficient. Let's get more on the future leader's plans with political scientist Mateusz Piskorski from the European Centre of Geopo uh, Geopolitical Analysis. Mr Piskorski, thank you very much for joining us here on RT International. Just a week ago, uh, Poroshenko was calling for dialogue with the East, but now a sudden U-turn. Why do you think that is? Just a week ago, he tried to uh, gain as much support as it's possible before uh, the elections. And uh, of course, he also counted on uh, those voters who are living in uh, eastern and uh, southern parts of the country. Although, as we know, um, uh, the elections in uh, Lugansk and uh, Donetsk uh, regions uh, did not take place, but uh, in several other regions, like in Odessa, like in Kherson, uh, Poroshenko tried to um, get the support of uh, those voters who support dialogue. Uh, on the other hand, we know that uh, it's not Poroshenko who is uh, in control of the situation and of the military forces now in uh, Ukraine. So he can uh, do nothing and he is a kind of uh, puppet president for, for the moment, uh, as he does not control the SBU, the Secret Service of uh, Ukraine, which is controlled by Mr. Uh, Valentin Nalivaychenko. Mr. Nalivaychenko is a, a direct collaborator of uh, CIA and uh, American services, uh, as well as Mr. Poroshenko doesn't control the Ministry of uh, Interior, Internal Affairs, and the minister of uh, this ministry, Mr. Avakov, who is closely connected to uh, the most uh, uh, harsh uh, competitor during the uh, electoral campaign of Mr. Poroshenko, who is a close affiliate of uh, Ms. Timoshenko. So we can say that it's a total chaos when it comes to uh, the control system and the governmental system of Ukraine. And uh, Poroshenko can do nothing, but he can pretend that he controls the situation. And that's why I think he claims that uh, he will continue the anti-terrorist operation, which is in fact not uh, controlled and uh, not not driven by him, but by uh, some uh, other people who are, uh, let's say, his uh, political opponents and his uh, political uh, competitors. We can expect that in the coming future there will be also clashes between uh, uh, various pro-governmental forces, uh, various pro-governmental units, as we have uh, witnessed uh, already such uh, clashes. So uh, Ukraine is a territory of total chaos. It's no more a state. It's no, no more a, a state which is governed uh, by a central government. It's a territory of chaos of different uh, criminal gangs, of different criminal groups who are pretending to be governmental structures. It, it doesn't sound like a, a pretty picture that you're painting there. Poroshenko says the military operation should last hours uh, and not weeks. What does he mean by that? How do you see this playing out? Well, uh, uh, yesterday, um, the experts of uh, the European Center of Geopolitical Analysis from Poland were uh, witnessing uh, the situation in Donetsk. They have seen uh, civilians uh, killed at the railway station there in Donetsk. So uh, we can say that, uh, of course, this, this operation is directed not uh, as much against uh, some uh, military units as, uh, units as, as uh, the Kiev government calls them separatist forces, but it's uh, uh, directed and targeted uh, at uh, a civilian population and the whole population of the southeast of Ukraine. And I guess that uh, they are, what, what they are trying to do now is to frighten, to scare the whole population of the southeast of the country, uh, just to uh, become uh, not only obedient, but uh, just to become passive and not uh, acting uh, anyhow. Uh, so. Unfortunately, I guess that uh, Poroshenko is right that the uh, military operation will be continuing. Poroshenko is right that the um, number of victims will be um, more and more. And I guess that, uh, unfortunately, what we can expect is a long time civil war in uh, southeastern parts of Ukraine. Poroshenko is not right when he tells that uh, the so-called anti-terrorist operation will last only a few hours or a few days, uh, because uh, for that, he would, he would need to extinguish or to kill a large part of the population of the southeast, uh, and uh, of course, it's impossible. Matthias Piskowski, thank you very much for your time here on RT International.